94. What is it now? 2004. No. Not no, yet, but it no. might be when this airs. It's basically, no. it's nearly 2004. No, it's, it's, we're past that. What? We're past 2004. We're past 2004? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Regardless of what you see on this program, please drink responsibly. This is Drunk History Black Stories. I am your host, Julia Denuga, and I'm joined by the wonderful, the amazing, she can see now because she's taken her glasses off, it's Sophie Duca. Whoa! It's so bright in here, you're glowing. It's, I am. You are glowing. So are you, honey. So are Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've heard you've got a story for me today. Oh, I do. Mm. Hashtag just Jossie. <laughs> You'll understand in a bit. Dr. Jocelyn Elders from the cotton fields to the White House. Are you ready? I'm ready. This sounds exciting. Let's go. Jocelyn was born in Arkansas. No, it's actually Arkansas. I was going to say, <laughs> I am going to call it Arkansas because I want to seem educated, but Arkansas is what it is. Yeah. She saw a talk from Edith Irby. Yeah? Just tastes a little bit like finger. Anyway, <laughs> Edith Irby Jones okay. was the first African American oh, wow. to attend medical school in the South. Oh, okay. And at this talk, Edith said, babes, we all get sick. You get sick. Mm -hmm. Your papa's gonna get sick. Well, wow. your mama's gonna get sick. Jocelyn saw that and was like, that is a bit of me. That's a bit of me. That's a bit of me. She went to Philander Smith. Okay, but why is she at me? I don't know. <laughs> it's because it's impressive. She okay. went to Philander Smith. It's a historically black college in the United States. Did she pay? No, she did not, because she got a scholarship. Oh, so she's smart. She's smart. She's a clever girl. She's better than picking cotton. I mean, everyone was better than picking cotton. I don't, I don't, mean, to, I don't mean to imply that some people... <laughs> She spends some time in the military, then she decides, I need to get more degrees. I need to get more information. I am going to do another degree in biochemistry in Arkansas. What it's a is genius. biochemistry? It's like, you know when you're on a dating app, those little lines that you have at the top, that's your bio? Yeah. And then if you're talking to someone, you're chatting to someone, they're like, hey, what's up, how was your week? And you feel something, Yeah. that's chemistry. <laughs> What you're not deeping at the moment is that the racial barriers to achieving all of this is mad. It's mid-century. Okay. Jocelyn's like, I have not one, but two degrees. I look cute. I spent time in the army and I was not pulled under by the waves. I rose up. I am a phoenix. I am a tiger. I am a hero. I'm doing great. She went back to the U08 the University of Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> she became the chief pediatrician. Listen up, my name's Jocelyn and this is what I'm focusing on. Okay. Clinical leadership, quality assurance, and health education. I'm working tirelessly on these things. She did not realize the key facts about the state in which she was situated. Which was? Which was that Arkansas had the thottiest kids in all of America. They had the second highest teen pregnancy rate. And she had not known this, even though she was health bitch. She was like, okay, we need to give them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The tools to make rational decisions. We can't keep them in this abstinence. They need to have condoms and they need to have information and we need to go into schools and we need to give them that information so that they can make informed, rational choices. But you know who was not a fan of this idea? It was the black churches. They weren't hot on it. She was like, okay, what is a church? What is a church for if not to save sinners? And they were like, get out, you slag. <laughs> Get out, you slag. Stop corrupting our children. Stop corrupting our women. Stop corrupting our young people. And she was like, your vows of abstinence that you're preaching in your churches are much more fragile 
than the condoms that I'm trying to give to your children. So will you just let me give your condoms to your children? And they were like, out, get out, get out. Devil woman, they didn't like her. She was focused and she had a bag full of jollies to get rid of before sunset. <laughs> So you know when you meet people before they were famous? Yeah. Like you're meeting me now. Yeah. <laughs> Jocelyn met who? Bill. Which Bill? Not Sykes. Murray. No. no, not Murray. No. No, he was getting his milkshake in a different yard. <laughs> she met Governor Clinton. Governor of where? Arkansas. Governor Clinton, he went on to be the president. Saw this. And he said to her, I want you Jocelyn, elders, to do for the nation what you did for Arkansas. In 1993, he appointed her first African-American Surgeon General. In the history of America. In the history of America, which to be okay. fair is quite short. Yeah, I mean. But still, mm -hmm. she started her new life as new Surgeon General. And obviously Bill is behind her, but not everybody else is behind Jocelyn. Like when she had to get confirmed, mm. it was like the confirmation process was difficult. Why though? Because the other the politicians like grilled her. They wanted, they were like, this black woman can't do this. Was it did implement her policies, did see a reduction in oh. what? Teen pregnancies. Really? They did. So, 1994, she went United Nations World Aid event. Okay. And she made some controversial statements. Like? Stuff that would get retweeted, quote tweeted. <laughs> The first thing that people latched onto was her saying, we need to start worrying about the fetus and start worrying about the children. In 1994! Okay, yep. 94! What is it now? 2004. No. Not no, yet, but it no. might be when this airs. It's basically, no. it's nearly 2004. No, it's, it's, we're past that. What? We're past 2004. We're past 2004? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, like, all the stuff she's chatting about, people are not cool about it. But big backlash, big straw that broke the camel's back happens when she gets asked to comment on the AIDS epidemic okay. and a response to it. And she says, I think masturbation should be taught in schools. Oh, no, they're going to cancel out this point. Yeah, no, it? yeah, 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 yeah. But she's people just are like... People not on board with masturbation People now. are not on board with masturbation. No. She was like, I didn't know that masturbation ever made anyone crazy. I don't know that masturbation ever got anyone pregnant. And at least when you're masturbating, you're doing it with someone who you love. She's like, masturbation, you're safe. <laughs> Her remarks about sex positivity were too much for early 90s America. And she was forced to resign by the man that she trusted. No way. By the man that she followed to Washington, DC. William. Mr. Billiam. Clinton. <laughs> she was forced to resign after a year. Uh, come, in, come, come in, Jocelyn, come in, Jocelyn. I got, I got something to say to you. So I know you've been enjoying yourself uh, going into uh, schools and educational facilities and taking your little boxes of prophylactics, uh, showing the kids how to slut drop, uh, twerk, a uh, dagger, uh, <laughs> whip nay nay. You've been giving them information that I would say some of our religious institutions don't think they should have been having until they were at least 80, 90 years old. Uh, some of your remarks about masturbation being essential to prevent AIDS and sex education being the focus for our young people have really upset conservative America. And as much as I like to pretend that I'm a decent human being, I really want to stay in office. So, Jocelyn, I think it would be better for everyone concerned if you uh, packed up your desk and took your sweet black ass out of my very, very white house. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a severance package. I'm not really sure why you're still standing here. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm late for... Uh, meeting with uh, Russia. So if you could just back out of the office now, that would be okay. ideal. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Bill. It's been an honor to serve my country. 
The paint wasn't even dry in her office. She had to walk out with her little cardboard box, making her the Surgeon General that served the shortest amount of time no in the history way. of the United States. Yeah, she was a first but she wasn't a loggy. 1995, who's caught in controversy? It's Billiam. Because what is he doing? Bill has had an affair with Monica Lewinsky, his intern, who is 22 years old. She's oh, the wait, baby. She was 22. She was 22 years old. Oh, I didn't know that. 22, he was 49. And he was married? In 99, Jocelyn retired. But the impact that she made and the doors that she opened, mm. it's unbelievable. What a legend. The problems that we are talking about in the 2020s, health disparity, access, drug policy in America and the UK, all over the world. World. Mm. All over the world. This fucking world. All over the fucking world. Yeah, the world. Jocelyn is nothing short of a trailblazer, a pioneer, an icon. I'd like to propose a toast to the healthcare hottie that is Jocelyn Elders. Yeah. Just Jossie. <laughs> <laughs>